My name is Subhadra Das and I am the curator of the Galton Collection here at UCL. Francis Galton was a scientist. He was born in 1822 and died in 1911, so he's pretty much as Victorian as you can get. Most people have probably never even heard of him. If they have, it's because they know that he's the man who came up with the idea of eugenics. Um, but there are many other achievements to his name, and those are inherent in the Galton Collection, which is stored here at UCL. Um, in addition to eugenics, uh, he was a famous African explorer. He filled in the map for Namibia. And uh, he was the first person to demonstrate statistically that no two people have the same fingerprints, which is a very fundamental principle of criminal identification that we use nowadays. He was the first person to publish a publicly accessible weather map in a newspaper, which is again something that's very inherent to the way we do things now. Um, and a lot of the work he did with biometrics, measuring people, um, is, was the foundation of neuroscience, psychology, many modern disciplines stem from the work that he did. This particular draw shows us some of the personal effects of the man. Um, and it's the same as kind of any historical collection. You get an idea of who he is as a person. You get the idea that he's probably a little bit finickety because we've got things like mirrors and combs, um, mending kits, um, and particularly amazing, which I would like to show you, are these teeny tiny diaries, which run from 1894 to 1909, this one is, with every little date and everything written in his own handwriting. It's a personal archive. But the collection also contains objects to do with Galton's work. And these are some very iconic objects. So this, for example, if I move my movement form out of the way, is a craniometer, um, which was used to measure people's heads. And you can measure in different planes. So you can take a measurement from here to here, or in profile, for example, at set points across a, across um, a person's features in a set way. The Galton Collection is a historic museum collection which includes the personal effects of Sir Francis Galton um, and also the objects that relate to his work. So his very early prototypes working on certain projects um, and objects that he would have used in the pursuance of his science. Um, it also includes objects from the Galton Laboratory which was set up at UCL in 1904 and there are things that have been added into the collection since then. Um, for example, we know that Carl Pearson, who was um, Galton's disciple in a way, he was his acolyte and a, a strong base here at the university, um, added things into the laboratory that then became part of the museum collection over the course of the, uh, the early half of the 20th century. And there are certainly things that have come in after that point as well. So we've got everything from the contents of his desk, the, the piece of cloth that he used to wipe the nib of his pen, we have the surveying equipment that he used on um, his African exploration trip out in Namibia in the 1850s. Um, there are also his medals awarded from various societies, including the Royal Geographical Society, um, various travel mementos. And also we start to get an indication of how wealthy um, and well off the Galton family were. We've got very early editions of Dr. Johnson's dictionary here, which belonged to Galton's sister Adele. It's generally known that Galton was racist in his approach to understanding humans and understanding human society and biology. Um, the objects in this collection relate to that work that he did with biometrics, with anthropometrics, measuring people. And the objects that are used here relate also to the work of the Galton laboratory before it came to UCL and after in terms of measuring people. Um, but they are, they are interesting because they exemplify the work that was done on people who came voluntarily to be measured, but they're still the same objects that were used on people all around the world who didn't necessarily consent to that process in the same way. So it, in terms of race, it's important to remember that a lot of Galton's work was to do with establishing um, biological and measurable aspects of difference. Um, and race was one of the main things that he was looking at in terms of differences between people. But gender was one of those, mental health was another one. Um, so it, it crossed a wide spectrum of characteristics. So not a lot of people know that Galton coined the phrase nature versus nurture. They will have heard of survival of the fittest, which is what Herbert Spencer came up with off the back of Darwin's theory of evolution. But Galton's phrase has kind of been written out of history. But it was something he was interested fundamentally in understanding the the effects of the environment had on the way someone grew up versus their genetic inheritance. Um, he was very firmly on one side of that argument, but he was nonetheless interested in measuring the different aspects of how that made up an individual. Mm -hmm.